Hello, welcome to a vlog. Another vlog. Wiggle. So, I've got a little um, package from Wiggle to open. Only the one package at the minute. I've got another little package coming from a different shop. But it's not arrived yet. So, let's slice open the tape. There we go. So what have we got? Uh, uh, a leaflet, booklet, a pot of, if it'll focus, Shimano Freehub grease. So I thought I'd buy some specific grease. Bye! For um, free hubs, free hub poles. As soon as I'm having the trouble with the poles on the um, Wahoo kicker. So I bought some proper free hub grease. There's Harry Bow, as we know, don't eat those. Two new KMC 10 speed chains, just the cheaper ones for stock. That was what I couldn't remember the other bit that I ordered. I knew there was something else. And then a new chain wear indicator tool. Because the one I've got is um, 0.75 to 1. This is 0.5 to 0.75. But yeah, just home for lunch briefly. Flipping hungry after yesterday. After yesterday's um, two trips of Alp do it Alp de Zwift and um, everything, turn my computer on. As soon as I came back in, and we've got Windows Update operated. Lovely Windows Update. You hate it when it takes forever and ever and ever. Please do not turn off the computer. I've got to go back to work in a bit. So yeah, I messaged that guy again on Facebook Marketplace. He said please respond. If you don't respond, I'm going to report him. And then I'll speak to police and all that. There'll be nothing they can do, but at least you know you report it, don't you? Because I've got the bank details, of course. So yeah. There we are. So I'll check that. I've got a few ideas for what I'm going to do to test the kicker. Um, I was speaking to Neil in the bike shop and he thinks it could be, because I couldn't figure out why it'll do it in 3428 at 300 watts, but it won't do it in 5015 at 6800 watts. Um, and he thinks it may be that the actual free hub is moving slightly on the bearings. A bit of play or poor tolerances or something. So, um, was it David Arthur I think, I think. Was it David Chapman? Somebody anyway commented, whoever it was, sorry I've forgotten who you were. Um, and thank you for the link by the way. I read a link that you put on. And it's been suggested that it could be the belt slipping. I know I've read another one in the past where you get slippage with the electromagnetic unit overheating and slipping. So there's a few things I'm going to try. But I'm going to try and eliminate one problem at once. So that, I say eliminate one problem at once. Try one fix at once so that I'm, once I've fixed it I know what it is. Because otherwise I just won't know what it is. Just gonna rip off the plastic to throw away rather than recycling the cardboard. Right, so just that for now. I'll carry this vlog on maybe tomorrow or whenever when I get the other package to open. Or when I've got a fix for the kicker. See you later. Happy Friday everybody. So I'm back. 
continuing on the vlog that I did the other day, so I think it was Tuesday, Wednesday, whenever it was, earlier in the week, I opened the box from Wiggle, didn't I? That was it. Well, I've got another parcel, package, to open. This one has just arrived today. I think I only ordered this yesterday. So, just a sort of a bit of an update. If you remember, I said that I'd ordered a few parcels, still waiting for one, which I ordered on Sunday, that hasn't arrived. Not heard back from the guy that I've tried to buy something off Facebook Marketplace, nothing's arrived from that, so I've reported him to Facebook. Nothing will come of that, I'm sure. Um, then I've been struggling with my kicker slipping again. I'd mentioned that I'd ordered a new free hub body because I'd assumed that it was the poles that were slipping. But thinking about it, I just couldn't figure it out. So I'd done a couple of tests, if you like, on, might be Tuesday night or Wednesday night. And I'd set off on Watopia and I'd changed the bike. I'd gone off with a different bike on the kicker so I put the my old giant TCR on the kicker so it's got pretty much brand new chain brand not brand new but you know good condition sprockets good condition chain rings to exclude anything to do with the bike so I put that on and set off with it cold so it was cold straight away on Watopia um, the old traditional sort of Jarvis Island route which is up the hilly KOM so within five minutes of setting off you're going up the steep bit of the climb on the bend so you go up round under the under the, um, the start banner round you loop round come back over the bridge up and then there's a herpin bend and it, it kicks up straight away to 14% really quickly within five minutes so the kicker's not warmed up I'm not warmed up but I, I put it into um, 39, 28 at the back, stamp on the pedals, and I made it slip. So I knew that it was not heat related, not bike related. Um, and then I, I, from that, I turned around, went back down again, came back up again, and put it instead of having it on the um, 28 at the back, I still left it on the 34 at the front, but I put it all the way down in the block so that. I was in the same position on the block as when I'm sprinting doing 800 watts or whatever when it doesn't slip I put it in the same position in case it was anything to do with the poles moving and the bearings on the free hub and of course it still slipped so I knew that it was something to do with the kicker so took the bike off again or sorry carried on riding on that night and I could get it to slip at various different places and I could get it to slip on the big ring as well sprinting for five seconds in certain situations so I knew that it wasn't bike related I'm waffling aren't I? I'm making a meal of this anyway cut a long story short I decided that it was belt related so then and I decided it was the belt slipping rather than the free hub slipping so I did some googling and found a um, a short video where the noise was similar to the noise that I'm getting with somebody's belt slipping because of course if you think it's, it's moving it's a bit like when you're out on the road and you lose it and you go heavy back on the pedals again and it it just jerks on the, the free hub poles and makes that clanging noise so I think it was Thursday lunchtime or Thursday Wednesday evening I took the, the side plate cover off, which is a bit of a faff to take off on this one because the handle's in the way. I took it off and there was rubber debris all inside and the belt was a bit, little bit loose. So, um, I can't think which day it was, but I tightened it up, then tested it last night, sprinting and all the rest, and it didn't slip last night. So it was definitely, it's definitely belt tension. So because I'd already decided um, that it was belt related before I'd taken the cover off I decided that I should look into ordering a replacement belt the Wahoo kicker belt directly from Wahoo £60 
and I found a link to a belt in the UK for £6, so I've ordered two, and that's what this is. £9 express delivery for next day, and I think the whole thing was £21. So I've got a spur. Um, and reports about this belt from other users are identical. Sounds the same and everything. So that's what's in here. I also men mentioned I replied to the email from Wahoo Kicker Support and said it's belt related, don't need the free hook. So that's what's in here. That's just a TNT bag. We've got another Jiffy bag with Colesill on it. And I'm going to make a specific video about how to change this and how to change and service the Wahoo Kicker 17 because there doesn't seem to be another one out there. There is on the earlier ones, but not on this. So I got this from Birmingham's Arrows, which are in Huddersfield. So it was £5.25 each belt. So there were just two belts in there. It looks really narrow. Um, but I'll compare that in a minute. £5.25, £10.50 each, plus £2.10 VAT, £2 VAT, plus the postage as I say, so everything was £21.60. Now, on my phone, I took a picture of the number. 5M170T15. Five M fifteen and this is a Medway belt brand, but it's just a timing belt. The number's slightly different on this one. So this says five seven double four two, but this was the link that somebody else had put on. Hope it's right. the right width that bit it's the right width and the other numbers relate to length diameter diameter that way length or whichever and also the teeth repeating pattern looks correct so I'll try this later right so that's that bit that's the unpacking done and the other thing is last night we ticked over 500 subscribers on the channel, so thank you very much. Massive, massive thank you to everybody for subscribing. 500 subscribers means competition time. So I'll think of something, sort of competition prize, get that, when I get that in, I'll put up a specific video just on 500 subs competition, and then we'll do that another day. So thank you for watching. This coming weekend we've got Frosty's Cycling Crew uh, Midlands Meet coming up, year two. So we did the same sort of thing this time last year. Snowed off and was postponed. The weather forecast isn't for snow this weekend so we should be okay, we should be good to go there. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. I'm going to drink my coffee. Later I'll go and try this and record how we do it. So, see you later. Cheers.